I've kind of led the path of possibly retiring after this fight. Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. It's been a few years, Zach. We haven't seen you, but you've been around. You know what I mean? I've, you know, I've seen you training and things like that. Um, how does it feel? What are the emotions like returning after so long? Uh, excited. It's, uh, you know, there, there's a time I didn't know if I'd ever be able to, like, to actually do this stuff. You know, I can really train at the pace I need to train at and, uh, you know, and, and, and get to compete again. You know, I mean, I love this stuff. You know, I've been doing it for years and years and years, and I, uh, I absolutely love it. Whenever um, when I had a pretty bad injury that uh that took a while and stuff and you know there was a point where it was like i, I didn't really care about fighting it was like with my new normal you know not be able to pick up my daughter and not be able to really do much out of getting out of bed and it uh man, it was scary you know it's definitely scary so the fact that like i'm able to get back and compete with the best in the world again man i'm just enjoying the process and just loving every second of it is it is it freeing to you that you know you're you're loving it more now yeah, it is. I mean, you know, you kind of, it's, I mean, it's, it's a passion, you know, but I mean, it definitely turns into a job, you know, where you're doing stuff and when you don't want to go train and, you know, do certain things, cut your diet, whatever it is, you know, like, and you got to make sacrifices and make the decisions. But I mean, this is, this has always been something I love to do and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it was whenever you, you think something gets taken away, you know, like you, you definitely, uh puts a little bit more you know in perspective and stuff and that definitely happened and uh but it also helped on on the on the other thing you know like when i decide to, to be done like life is good you know like i've i've got i've done a lot of cool things in this sport but uh you know life outside of it is also very good you know and i mean even though my whole life revolves around it you know i've got my my gym on my own i've got a fight promotion i own so i mean <laughs> everything is mma and, and combat sports mm -hmm. but uh you know, it, it's nice to be able to to show these guys that, you know, this is how you do it at the top level. This is, you know, still something I love to do. Yeah, and, and you get to return in Kansas City, which is a perk, right? Oh, huge. I mean, I was I was planning on maybe coming back like early summer, maybe. And then yeah, I <laughs> I saw them. I saw the announcement for Kansas City. I'm like, whoa, hold on, man. Like, how am I not on this card? <laughs> Had to start making the phone calls and, you know, threaten some lives, maybe. I don't know what I had to do. But, uh, you know, I was like, hey, guys, like, you know, there's no way I'm not on this card. You know, you came to, uh, came to Missouri for the first time in KC, you know, mm -hmm. six years ago to the date. And, uh, and I was mm -hmm. on it. And, you know, it, it, it just makes sense for me to be able to, to come back and do it in front of my, uh, you know, my home state, my hometown, you know, my, my team, my family, all my friends. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty special thing for sure. Oh man, it's going to be a, a special moment, especially what you've been through and to be able to walk out in front of the people you love and the people that love you. You know what I mean? It's, I, I, how could you prepare for that moment? It's, is it, can you prepare for something like that? I mean, it's one of the things where, you know, I, uh, no, not really. I mean, I've, I've always, I just, the walkouts are always fun. Just enjoying the crowd and stuff. And, uh, even halfway across the world, you know, I find the people that, that are there for me, you know, my, uh, my family, I got really close friends that always travel with me. So I'd always just find them and, uh, you know, give hugs and stuff during the walkout. So, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be special. You know, my, my biggest one is, you know, my, my oldest daughter, you know, she's five now, almost, you know, five and a half, uh, she knows what's going on now. You know, she understands. And that's one of the biggest reasons I, I came back. You know, she wanted to witness it. She wanted to be there. And uh, I'm excited to, to share that with her. Yeah, that's going to be awesome, man. Imprint that into her memory for the rest of her life, dude. It's, there's yeah. nothing like that. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you try to explain, like, what you've done and things. You know, they, they watch, you know, that she's been to, to shows that I've promoted. And, you know, she's been to, to shows before and, and stuff. But, you know, she's never seen the UFC. And, uh, I don't, I think it might put some perspective on like, Oh, this is what daddy does. Like, this is who he is. Like, this is special. So it's, uh, cool. 
Yeah, yeah. Daddy's the shit. That's that's what she needs to yeah. figure out. <laughs> yeah, daddy still got it, man. Daddy still yeah. got it for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you know, you started off as a welterweight in the UFC. Now you've slowly progressed to to light heavyweight. Like, why did you decide to return back at 205? Yeah, uh, so before I got in the UFC, man, I, I you know I was a, a pretty solid middleweight. You know, I it took fights at 205. Uh, I've had I've had some fights at 205 already. And then, you know, getting into the UFC, I was like, all right, if I'm going to compete with the best in the world, like, I got to do everything right. And we, we decided to make the cut to, to 170. And, and the last, I mean, so I had nine there. The last four were getting really rough. I mean, it was, it was bad. And it was just time to go back to middleweight. Um, we planned on returning to middleweight. I mean, I even told them, you know, I'll, I'll fight at 85. Uh, I would have had to do everything perfect, everything right. Um, especially, you know, with taking the fight, you know, here in Kansas city on April instead of like something in summer. But, you know, it was one of the things where, you know, I, I could have done it, but then I was like, you know, I mean, if they have anything at two Oh five, like I'll entertain it. You know, if it's the, if it's the right matchup or something that, you know, that makes sense or sounds fun, like I'm in, you know, I, uh, I got power, you know, i still have a good chin. Like I'm, I'm strong. I control that. Uh, you know, I think I can, can handle the, the stuff at two Oh five also. And, uh, yeah, so they were thinking and some some names were getting thrown around and then, you know, Ed Herman at two oh five popped up and I was like, dude, like, that's just fun. You know, I had a so my last fight, which, you know, years ago, August of twenty twenty, a couple weeks after that, I actually got offered Ed uh on a, like a week notice and I accepted it. But they went I think they went a different route. They they went with another two oh five or I think it was the uh, I wanna say Mike Rodriguez maybe or something like that or uh, yeah, so that fight, so I actually accepted that fight and then, you know, they, they just went a different route, not a big deal. And then, uh, yeah, so I don't know if maybe since I already accepted it and then there were maybe in talks with him, it just, it just made sense. And so, you know, I was, I was on the fence between 205 and, and middleweight and then, you know, the name came across and then I also started looking and thinking about things and there's not very many people in the history of the UFC that has wins in three weight classes. Uh, like a handful of them maybe and two of them fought each other at 45 and then fight each other at 70 which was dustin and connor so i mean uh yeah i mean so you know it's like i'm older you know is world championships probably out of there and stuff but if i can do something cool to maybe leave my mark like this might be it so uh yeah just try to find something special to do and especially do it back home on return and my backyard like why not your your life your quality of life must be improved right as a fighter just because you know to me i think the diet is probably the hardest thing because you could get pushed by people to train training is probably the thing that you love but controlling the food intake is that the hardest part yeah i mean i i I like healthy food um i eat a lot of it though you know like i love sushi and fish and uh i mean like when i come out to denver to train like i pretty much live on like poke bowls but uh yeah, it's just more my I eat a lot and stuff. And, you know, I've obviously with family, you know, end up eating like kids leftovers. So, I mean, but I don't eat a lot of junk food. I don't really like even like a lot of junk food. So, uh, honestly, I not much has changed outside of like I'm not going to have the big 24-hour cut, you know. Uh, I'll have to cut some. I mean, I'm walking, but what I normally do. I've been a little bit lax just because uh, I know I can, I guess. Like, I'm not – everything's super down, but yeah, quality of life is good. But I mean, I, yeah, I enjoy feeling good from eating clean and stuff and like kind of being in fight camp. And like, I've still been doing that even though I really probably don't have to, but, uh, but I mean, I got big. How's it? I mean, you know, whenever I'm bedridden for three months, couldn't do much, couldn't train for large. I mean, I, I think I hit like 252 was the highest I ever hit my life. So, uh, yeah, I was a little chunky boy, <laughs> but, uh, you know, but I mean, I walked around 220 and stuff, cutting down to 170 even. So, I mean, like, I've, I've always walked around big and uh, and stuff in that 85. And so, I mean, I, I think I'm like 215 right now and stuff. So, I mean, it's going to be a really easy cut to 205. But, you know, I'll go ahead and I still want everything to feel correct you know, and, and like uh, a normal fight camp and, uh, and fight week. And, you know, I'll cut my sodium and do everything. And so I probably won't have to, like, cut hardly anything. You know, most of it just kind of fall off on fight week just – cleaning stuff up and, and, uh, water loading and all that stuff and that whole process. So I won't, I won't really have to lose much, but, uh, 
yeah, I'm pretty much trying to do everything the same as what 85 looked like, just outside of the the 24 hour, you know, murder myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, you're back with uh, Mark Montoya. You're back with Factory X. You got so many great training partners, right? Guys that have fights coming up or they have fought, like Rob Wilkinson. He just took out Tiago Santos. They're Dustin phenomenal. Jacoby's in there. Yeah, yeah. Dustin Jacoby's yeah. in there. You got uh, Anthony Smith is in there. He's preparing for a fight, man. How has the environment been, man, just to jump in there with those guys? Yeah, it's been great. You know, I have – I've got great training back home. You know, I said I own my gym. Uh, we did some rebranding, so it's Ignite Academy now. Uh, I've got some really good guys there and, and get a good push when I'm at home. So, But, like, the weeks that I come up here, yeah, it, it's just been – top level guys all trying to peak at the same time and it's you know it's fun competition between us so uh which also i think gives me the confidence really fight at 205 you know i've got like you said dustin jacoby's fighting the same night as me top 15 in the world anthony smith top five in the world rob wilkinson just won the pfl just took out a very tough you know tiago santos uh you know cody brungage is a really good up-and-coming 85 or he's two weeks after us uh Man, this week we've got the magic man, right? We got David Taylor and with the gold medalist in the gym, just uh, playing around and, and seeing what this stuff is about. And just like having a guy like him in the gym is phenomenal. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, like knowing that I can go in and compete with these guys that are still ranked top in the world, like, you know, I, I know I can compete at this weight class. And I know I, uh, you know, I can still go out there and do my thing. So I'm, I'm excited for sure. It's been fun. Ed Herman, man. Like when, you know, you mentioned that you were offered him. So you're already like, I'll take that fight no matter what. Like it's, it's a, it's a great matchup, right? When you look at it stylistically though, what do you see? Hey, uh, I see someone similar to me, you know, Ed has been around longer than me, but uh, super durable, you know, he's dangerous everywhere. You know, he's got power. He's a good grappler, good wrestler, uh, good at submissions. You know, he's, he's good at recovering, um, you know, he, he gets hurt decently and, you know, I mean, he gets hurt in fights. He definitely does, but, uh, you know, he, he's really good at recovering too. So it's one of those where, you know, he's just a vet and I feel like it's going to be a fun fight, fun matchup. And it's just, yeah, it was, it was an immediate. Yes. You know, it's something like, you know, we're both going to go out there and knock the dogs. You have each other, have fun doing it, do it for the fans, probably a smile on our face half the time. And uh, and that's the stuff that I like to do, man. I I really I love this as a sport, and it's a, a a human chess match for me. And you know, I don't I don't need any uh, animosity with somebody. I don't need to have like any problems. You know, I just I just like to go compete. And being able to do that uh, against someone who I highly respect, I've had a lot of fun with Ed in the back locker rooms and stuff. Just being around the same fights and and you're know, fun on the same cards or in the same locker rooms. Uh, he's a good dude. I really enjoy him, and uh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Do Do you see like a speed advantage for you in this in this matchup? I would. I mean, I would hope so. I mean, I know like Ed's not a massive two hundred five. I mean, he's. I know he's probably grown into it some, but you know he fought at eighty five, and uh, but yeah, I mean, I think just me, you know, having time at welterweight, seeing that, you know, uh, coming up from from middleweight, I think I'm gonna be faster. You know, I think uh. I'm and I'm weird. Like I am deceptively fast. Like it's one of those where like if if you watch me from outside looking in, like I really don't look that fast. I I, I don't look like I'm doing much. I don't move much. Or, like I faint. Like when you're in front of me, uh, you see a different person. You know, like there's a lot of faints, a lot of little movements and stuff. And that's just one thing I've really gathered from you know training partners and people that I've competed against. You know, they're like, they, they watch film. They didn't think I'd be as quick. My hands would be as fast. And then like the, the movement is there. And uh, I definitely think my, my movement then and hand speed is going to be there. Uh, you know, a lot more lateral movement and uh, I switch stances a lot and stuff, which uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I feel like I can give a, a, give a lot of different looks that maybe he hasn't seen with the bigger guys and stuff. And, and I think I'll have to use that to my advantage instead of just, normally being like the big stronger welterweight and stuff like that that you know i was kind of used to and just trying to bully people i think i'm gonna have to to move and, and really be an athlete for this fight for sure with the uh you know with the size difference you mentioned that uh he's he's good at recovering you know he does get hurt a lot we've yeah. noticed that about ed herbert but he does recover he's durable so in this fight it's important to understand that when he's hurt you got to go in there and 
and pick your spot right perfectly so yeah. you can take them out. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a finisher. You know, I try to I try to finish every fight. And when I hurt people, uh, I'm normally pretty good at putting them away. You know, I've had, you know, I've let some people off the hook a few times and it's bit me in the ass later on. But, uh, you know, I for the most part, if, as soon as I, I smell blood, it's it's on. It's, you know, either uh, a barrage of strikes or find a submission. You know, he he's crafty, he's durable, and, and I know that. And But I also know, like, I can't let him have time because he's he's going to find time to like tie you up and and get his head back and everything. Uh, he's very good at it and stuff. So, uh yeah, so I mean, I I I know I can finish him, but I also know that he's crafty and he he, he might be hanging around for all 15 minutes and both of us insanely bloody. So, who knows. <laughs> What's the perfect night for you, man? You're fighting in Kansas City. You're going to have your your people there. You know, I mean, you're returning after a long layoff. What's the perfect night? Oh, man, you know, enjoy the moment enjoy the walkout enjoy getting in the cage uh i mean i want to be in there and enjoy it but i also don't get paid by the by the hour you know so <laughs> let's get in let's get out i mean if i can if i can find the finish early i will you know i i know that's very hard for him uh to finish early so i mean i don't expect it but i mean yeah perfect nights go in there and uh find my range and and start touching and you know, let, let's drop him with something and either finish with a, a knockout or a submission and, and I'd be happy and go out and enjoy my my time with my family and my daughter and enjoy the moment there and then, you know, and enjoy the fans and the friends for the rest of the night and have a little after party. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that would be, be perfect. What's the outlook after this Ed Herman fight? Are you just taking one fight at a time or do you have some goals that you set out for yourself? You know, I'm... Um, I've kind of led the path of possibly retiring after this fight. You know, I wanted to, I really wanted to, to come back for me. Like I feel bad cause like, you know, come back and stuff like that. And I really haven't been on social media hardly at all. Uh, I'm just kind of doing this one for me. It's just, it's something I had to do to overcome mentally and everything that I just needed to kind of to deal with. And then, uh, and, and also it's kind of joining with my daughter, you know, it was one of those where, you know, I, I own a promotion and like I said, she's kind of been there a lot and, uh, and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, it's, she's kind of watched stuff and she's like, okay, this is cool. But like, when are you going to fight? So I'm like, <laughs> oh man, you know, cause I like, I knew I would, but I feel like the motivation was there but it needed a little extra boost. And man, she said that looking at me and I was like, all right, let's go. Yeah. So yeah i don't know i mean it's uh i've got two on my contract i mm -hmm. i don't i don't need another contract for sure you know this mm -hmm. is I'm, I'm struggling this moment because like i can't imagine a better way than going out in my backyard you know but also mm -hmm. i've been enjoying this moment so much and like just the process of it if i could do it again maybe maybe we'll see mm -hmm. you know maybe that little girl looks at me and was like Let's, let's do it again. You know, then we'll, we'll see. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably leaving things a little open-ended, but, uh, I'm a, I'm a hundred percent okay with this being my last fight for sure. You know, I've, uh, I've, I've come to terms with it. I'm, I'm really cool with the stuff I've done, the sport and the years I've put in and, you know, building my gym, uh, at home and then continue to build my fight promotion and stuff. And then just, you know, enjoy my family grow and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll see, you know, one or two, um, but it, it's hard to, it's hard not to say goodbye mm -hmm. in my backyard, you know, but we'll, we'll see how this fight goes. See how I feel. Um, we'll go, we'll go from there. Yeah, for sure, man. Hey, you know, you never know, man, when it comes back to Kansas city, we'll see you again. Who knows? You know what I mean? Never, you never I, know. Maybe another six years. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That'd be kind of rough, right? That'd be kind of rough. Yeah. Well, yeah. uh, April 15th, man, they're going to Kansas city. Um, Go in the descriptions, download the All Star app. Zach, man, thank you so much for the time. And if it is, man, the last one, man, we've we've enjoyed every single moment of it. So enjoy My yourself. Pleasure. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.